Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Timmy G's Unboxing Stuff and Stuff. Today we've got a mystery box from Rick and Morty by Funko. Picked this up at Hot Topic today, so let's not waste any time, let's get to it. Timmy G's Unboxing Stuff and Stuff. He's Unboxing Stuff and Stuff. Please send me some stuff. I have no idea what's in it, so let's do it together, shall we? We got a whole bunch of cellophane wrapped around it, and we're just going to rip that off like it's a Christmas present. Basically, it is. I uh, got a bunch of Christmas money, pulled it all together. You saw the stuff in the other video. And I talked about the Annabelle doll that I ordered. So, uh, now we're going to see what's inside the Rick and Morty box. So, when you open it up, this is what you're going to see. And something just fell out. So, I guess this will be the first item that we look at. <laughs> I forgot what they, uh, I forgot what the name of that dog was, but they put the little device on the dog's head to make him more smarter, and uh, then they were ready to take over the world. But, uh, it's an ink pen, so we'll see if it writes here. And yes, it does. It seems to write okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know a pen is a cheap item to include in one of these boxes, but this box was like 30 bucks, and uh, I always need ink pens. So here we have got a uh, Mr. Measix, a Mr. Measix little uh, <laughs> sand-filled, I guess you'd call that like a stress ball. <laughs> that's... That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'm into that. I dig it. What else do we got here? We do got a pop in here. We're going to, I guess, save that for last. We got... <laughs> this is a portal gun. So that's cool. Uh -huh. Here we have uh, just a couple more items. We have, it looks like, a <laughs> Rick notepad. And they were nice enough to include the ink pen to go with it. Let me show you that again. There it is, out of the bag. And uh, let's see, are these like post-its where they got the sticky stuff on them? And yes, it is. So it's got the sticky back, so... Just like the post-it notes. That is really, really cool. And then finally is, wow, it is a Young Rick pop. So I guess this is a Chase um, Hot Topic exclusive. So I don't usually take these out of the box. And I'll probably put him right in the right back in the box, but let's take him out just to look at. And uh, there he is. <laughs> I can't really complain. Um, oh, and he actually comes with a little stand, so maybe this will be the one that we leave out of the pack. I guess I've kept all the ones that I've got inside the pack, so I don't know if they normally come with a stand uh, or not, but this one does, the Young Rick, and I don't know if there are like uh, variants that you can get in the different box, and uh, oh, we also have here, I don't know how I missed out, missed this out, but is a little <laughs> Morty adventure card. But, all in all, I don't know if the box is really worth 
the 30 bucks. I mean, there's a little sandbag ink pen note pad and a keychain. You know, you figure $10 for a pop, maybe 15 I guess, since it is technically like a chase. But uh, regardless, I'm not mad because, or I'm not upset or feel ripped off because it's Rick and Morty. <laughs> so what can you say? Uh, but at any rate, thanks for tuning in. Um, we will unbox that Annabelle doll as soon as she comes in. And uh, I'm still waiting on another Fright Crate. Um, I've got the Loot Crate DX box. Uh, the Star Wars DX box is actually on its way here. Um, there's one item that they said was a spectacular item. I don't know what it is, obviously, but... They said that that will be coming sometime in January, boo, and they will be instead, as a bonus, including a pair of BB-8 socks, boo, uh, <laughs> but at any rate, it's on the way. Um, so, Terror Treasures, I think they're just now getting ready to ship out the November boxes, so I'm signed up for December and January, I think, so... It might still be a little bit before I get my next Terror Treasures box. Uh, and I'm not mad about that either because Jason and Catherine put so much time and thought into their boxes that you can't really be mad. Every, every box is awesome. It's catered to you, which is part of the reason why it takes so long. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but at any rate, um, I've got loot wear coming too. Uh, by the way, that just popped in my head uh, so next month we're probably going to get another don't eat the gum box maybe two um, I'll probably sign up for the February terror treasures and uh, maybe get another fright crate if they're not out by the third which they very well might be um, if not then I'll spend the money on something else and uh, maybe we can unbox that so at any rate thanks again for tuning in and I will catch you in the next one Timmy G's unboxing stuff and stuff. He's unboxing stuff and stuff. Please send me some stuff. This is Timmy Rick with another unboxing stuff and stuff. <laughs>